I'm David. This morning I'm in a village in Oxfordshire called Great Hazley and I've come here to photograph the windmill. So I'm going to experiment a little bit with composition. I've set up and I've got the camera um, set to expose uh, fairly evenly and uh, I'm going to focus on the windmill. Now I haven't thought very much about where the windmill is in the frame and so I'm just going to take a picture and this is what we can call a bit of a snapshot. Okay, it looks all right. Because the windmill is such a nice thing to look at, it uh, doesn't seem to really matter where you put it in the frame and it's, it can be a fairly good photo. But if I recompose the image using the rule of thirds, now we've got four options when it comes to the rule of thirds essentially to get the highest impact. I can compose it so that I have it in the top right third and it starts to add a little bit of negative space into the image actually because we've got a large empty field and a, and a large empty sky. It starts to single the windmill out a little bit more. I'm going to look for some foreground interest or some leading lines which are going to take our eye up into the main subject which is the windmill here. Right, so now I've come a little bit further down the path and I'm standing on the edge of a barley field and there's uh, some tractor tracks and this is a perfect leading line because it takes us right up to the windmill. I put the windmill on the upper right hand third and then using the lines to cut the image in half with a diagonal lead us in make sure I'm exposing it for the sky and focusing again on the windmill and see how this one looks I'm really liking that I'm liking the lines that lead into it. It's a lot more interesting than the field of broad beans that we were standing on the edge of before. So the elements of composition are made up of all kinds of things and all kinds of rules. And with what I've been experimenting with here, there's maybe something else missing. And another element that I can consider now is light. So I've come here just before sunrise and it's getting close to the longest day in the year so I did get up ridiculously early. But once the sun starts coming across this field and illuminating the side of the windmill then I think I'm going to get that beautiful golden hour light which just makes everything look superb. It's not easy getting up at half past three to come out and a lot of people will to sunset and the evening golden hour simply because it's just easier to do but I really love getting up at this time in the morning because I'm the only one here and I probably will be for the next couple of hours and it gives me a lot more time to think about my photos and compose my shots than than it would if there were people out walking their dogs I would feel like a bit of a pressure having those people around and I wouldn't feel comfortable about setting up my shot or stand, even standing there for 20 minutes waiting for the right light and so I prefer coming out in the morning and I curse the times that I stay in bed a bit too long or I just decide to stay in bed instead of come out because when I do come out I always get such a buzz and I always feels so much more relaxed and it feels special to be one of the only people out and about at this time saying that I can hear the M40 so now the sun's come up quite a bit 
We're still well in golden hour, but it's illuminated the field and it's lighting up the side of the windmill. And so I'm going to take my shot now. Finally, I'm just going for portrait orientation version. Might put a bit more emphasis on the leading line. And I guess let's compare them and see which one's nicest. It's been a lovely morning here in Great Haisley and I've, I've really enjoyed the solitude and being out here taking photos and doing these early morning trips and taking that time I really feel like is helping me improve and I do think some of my photos have gotten better. Every time I go out I learn something new, not just about composition or the technical aspects but practical things like I very nearly arrived here without a memory card, which would have been a disaster. So always bring a memory card and a spare. I've got spare batteries. I hope you've enjoyed this video because I've enjoyed making it. Uh, it's been nice to talk through my composition and uh, slow things down and it makes me think a bit more and hopefully improve my photography a bit more. But if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought or if there's anything else you want to see and subscribe if you want to see me on my journey of uh, improving my photography. Thanks for watching. Fortunately, I've got one.